I think one of the things people are, are looking forward to seeing, though, um, is uh, Clark and Lexa seeing each other again, which is <laughs> going to happen this season. Mm -hmm. Give us a little preview about what that moment is going to be like. I think both of them know it's coming at some point. Uh, when they do meet, it will be... It will... <laughs> it definitely... It, it comes off the tails of, you know, quite a betrayal in her in her eyes and for Lexa you know a surprise yeah and, and it's a bit of a surprise. Was surprised. I was surprised yeah I was surprised too when I was reading it too because I was like wait when are they coming in <laughs> like, yeah, yeah it's definitely surprising um, but people I think will be pleased with the way it pans out so we have some sort of new villains coming in uh, the ice nation lots yeah yeah well we'll start with that one <laughs> Scariest uh, people on the ground that I think people are going to see. Yeah, it's another grounder tribe um, that are very threatening to the group of the hundred um, for sure. And there's a lot of obstacles that come between them, and there there will be war. There's definitely a more they're a more brutal faction of the grounders, and the the leader of the Ice Nation has a quite a vendetta against Commander Lexa. Mm -hmm. So. Give us a preview of the Ice Nation and how bad they are compared to the rest of the Grounders. Well, they're they think they're bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they think they're bad. They're they do. They're definitely dangerous and a wild card, right? Is that fair to say? Yes. Yeah. I mean, they're the rogue clan out of everyone, out of the 12 clans. Um, and it's worth mentioning that Brenda Strong, who plays the Ice Queen, is phenomenal in the role. Uh, she just completely steals the, the scene, I think. When mm -hmm. she walked in, I was just like, wow, you're amazing. <laughs> Um, but it's a it's a great um, it's great that we get to explore the twelve clans a little bit too. We finally we had all these new sets built, and one of the great sets we got to work in is kind of a, a like a meeting place for all the clans, and so you get to see how different each of them are, and uh, and what the Ice Nation is to to kind of the center of grounder politics, I guess. And then in season three, there's also alliances that happen um, between different tribes. Because I think in, we, we will continue on from what we've learned in season one and season two. And I think at one point, you could kind of guess who your enemy was and who your friend was by what they were wearing and where they came from. You can't do that anymore. Yeah. And so there's a lot of intimate um, connections that are made, and then also a lot of fierce rivalries that happen between mm. uh, these worlds as everyone gets closer together. So in one way, you're seeing more of the world, but now that everyone's living a little bit closer together and having to figure out a way to survive, I love the intimate fights and, yeah. and uh, alliances yeah. that, have been, that, are, that are being created. Our characters definitely become more fully formed. You get to see many different facets of their personality.